We see here a page from the October 1666 tract on fluctions. It is uh, an interesting page because here Newton presents his direct algorithm for calculating fluctions. We have an equation, uh, a simple equation, that expresses the relation between the line x and y. And we have, as you can see, a simple polynomial equation. And Newton calculates uh, calculates the uh, velocities p and q that uh, he would call later the fluxions of x and y. He calculates the ratio of these two uh, the, these two fluxions. And what he does, as you can see, as you follow his reasoning, is uh, uh, what we are taught to do with uh, the Leibniz's differential method. Uh, if you uh, conceive PO as equal to D dx, the differential of x, and QO as the differential of y, because P is the instantaneous velocity with which x flows, Q is the instantaneous velocity with which y flow, flows, O is a moment of time, is, a, is, a, is what Leibniz would write as dt, as the differential of time, and therefore x plus PO is x plus dx, and y plus QO is y plus dy. And uh, if you follow the next lines, you will easily recognize um, <coughs> that uh, what Newton does is uh, to calculate uh, the ratio between dy and dx. So it's clear that this is an algorithm that will allow him to calculate maxima and minima, tangents to lines, and so on and so forth. One basic element of this algorithm is that uh, at a certain moment terms multiplied by O can be discarded, can be cancelled, can be considered uh, as zeros compared to terms where O does not occur. And this corresponds to Leibniz's rule of cancellation of differentials according to which x plus dx is equal to x. This is one of the uh, first rules that L'Hopital uh, wrote at the beginning of his uh, book devoted to the differential calculus, uh, the Analyse des infiniment petits of 1696.